Hey everyone, welcome back to CS125, day two. Today we're going to talk about operations that we can perform on variables. So yesterday we introduced variables as the way that we store data in our computer programs and we talked about how to initialize them, declare them, and a little bit about Java's type system which constrains the type of data that we can store in our variables. Today we're going to look at ways that we can modify variables that we use in our programs through mathematical operations, assigning other variables to them, and so forth. The, one of the things that's so exciting about computers and one of the things that makes programming and knowing something about computer science this modern superpower is that computer capabilities are such a good complement for human capabilities. So if you think about the things that computers are good at versus the things that people are good at, there's like a little bit of overlap, but not a lot. Computers are great at repetitive mathematical tasks, repeating things over and over, making decisions consistently, manipulating information. These are not things that humans tend to be very good at. One of the things that the book Coders that you're reading will talk about is how once you start to become a better programmer, you will have a really high aversion to doing meaningless repetitive tasks because you start to understand the computers are great at that. And so instead of doing something that's like boring and repetitive, you'll do something exciting, which is all right, the computer program to do that task for you. The, so the, the last couple lessons, yesterday, today, tomorrow, we're kind of introducing these basic computer capabilities that are the bedrock for everything else that we'll be doing this semester. So good luck today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson um, and go ahead and get started.